Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'll be doing for you an anti-haul and the reason why I'm doing this kind of video is because if you've watched uh, my uh, one of my previous videos called do you really need to buy more I kind of touched on the about buying makeup and how sometimes um, we or I buy um, an unnecessary stuff so um, I thought this kind of video would be a good idea for myself and maybe yourself as well if spending money on unnecessary makeup which yeah I and maybe you don't need um, either. Firstly I actually want to mention this two releases from Too Faced and the first one is the uh, Lives Festival collection. Now the whole unicorn um, vibe is basically not for me. It just doesn't call for me at all. I do prefer more classy packaging and I, I just generally like it more when the packaging is more like adult kind of based. Um, of course and plus I, I thought we are ready over unicorn stuff in makeup and the rainbow highlighters and uh, things like that in makeup already so I'm kind of a bit mm, yeah there's just and pretty much everything from this collection except for the eyeshadow I mean the highlighter I would never use the highlighter it's got like rainbow the rainbow stuff um, yeah it's just not something for me and I'm kind of not really about this holographic look at all it's not something that suits me personally but it's just not something i'm gonna plan to pick up at all i also want to now talk to you about another release from too faced and it is the natural beauty collection which is probably due to release in any time soon and when looking on the swatches online um the two there's few things that do kind of call to me but the main two things that don't call from for me um, add lipsticks uh, firstly the packaging I mean I know it looks like it's meant to be the spring kind of collection but the tubes um, the way the packaging is on the lipsticks it just kind of looks kind of like a cheap um, lip balm packaging um, so that's the first thing and the second thing looking at the colors I can guarantee you that 99% of you who are watching and me have most of those colors already in their collection so it's not something unusual um so that's the first thing and the second things are the eyeshadow palettes um the, the packaging actually looks really nice um so I'm, I'm, yeah the packaging is right nice but really nice but when looking actually at the shades i just don't feel like yeah i just don't feel like i would use them much uh, moving on to uh, cover effects uh recently they have released a glitter bomb drops uh, so basically like you know those drops the very the highlighter drops they've got but in a glitter form glitter is not something i do apart just on my eyes even if i like the glitter it's not something i would go for, like the shades are not something that i would go for you've got like a blue one a, a purplish pinky one a yellowy goldy shade but none of those would um i would just there's no there's just no use for me for them you could have used them as a body glitter maybe enough of course and of course if you're like a makeup artist who does a lot of like really nice um actual art out of makeup i think this would be maybe something you could go for and yeah so that's the thing i'm definitely gonna stay away from and moving on to um becca now i think this collection came out quite recently and it's called the ocean jewels collection especially the eyeshadow palette um the eyeshadow palette has like one two three four five six seven shades and it's like 32 pounds which is i think quite expensive um even just looking at the palette i can't see myself creating a look out of this palette because when i go and use eyeshadow palettes i don't really use two or three or four eyeshadow palettes just to create one look when i've got an eyeshadow palette i just use one eyeshadow palette and i want to create a look out of it i don't want to be dipping somewhere else now looking in at this eyeshadow palette there's just no way for me to i just don't see myself like creating a massive amount of looks and they're just so like what we've done already i mean there's one like purple pinky shade but there's so many other palettes that have got more shades in them and they're kind of more or less the same prices and you can create so much more out of them so that is the reason i'm just i 
don't know what's the point of this one. I just don't really know what's the point of this palette. I'm sorry, but I just, I don't know. So I'm just gonna now move on to the final product of this video. And it is the Urban Decay Back Talk uh, Two Palettes in One. And it's basically an eyeshadow palette. It's got like, on the other side, it's got uh, four blushes um, slash highlighters. And um, I am actually a big fan of Urban Decay eyeshadows. I've got all the all of the like the basics palettes. Those shades don't speak to me at all. Um, you could probably create a really nice rosy shade. Yes, I can see like two warm shades at the end. Like if you've got the Naked Two, the one got rosy. Um, sorry, Naked Three. I think it's got the rosy stuff. Um, rosy shades. You don't really need this one. But the two warm shades. Again, it's something I feel like. Um, every palette has already so you have this already and I, I think you already have this unless you have really no no pinky or rosy shades in your um in your collection like at all that pretty much completes I think now it's kind of a quick one and this is the first time I've ever done some a video like this so of course please tell me how it went um I do appreciate feedback because I'm trying to improve myself uh, with doing videos of course please do tell me what is on your not buying list uh, list and tell me why because maybe there's a product I want to buy and it's on your entire list and you can tell me why you don't want it and maybe I won't buy it because of you uh, which would be good maybe um, I've had that I hope you still enjoyed this video talk to you in my next one so take care